Hey guys, thanks so much for coming in for a haul. I gotta drink a little coffee. I don't know why I've got a little scratchy throat and I don't want to cough in the middle of my video. So please forgive me if I take a swig of my uh, my beverage. All right guys, I am really happy that you joined me tonight. I went on the other side of town to a place called Nam. Some of the local people have been asking me, uh, some of my subbies, and I really appreciate you guys chiming in and asking me questions um, and watching my videos where I shop and I shop all over Houston. I was in pretty much inner city Houston today. I was supposed to go to a meeting for work. Somehow or another there was a glitch, there was no meeting, whatever. So I wasn't going to drive 50 miles for nothing, right? I went to my local favorite charity shop and uh, one of them is Nam, and the other one is, uh, I don't even know the name of it. I think it's Ashley Call Thrift Shop and it's right across the street. Uh, and it's really, really nice. They have a lot of estate things. That's where I bought that, um, that Dooney, um, what do you call it, briefcase for $30. And it's in excellent condition. Totally love it. Well, anyway, I saw this bag. And actually, I didn't even, I couldn't even tell what it was. It was lying down like this. I thought it was a wallet. So, but it looked like a nice wallet. So I said, hey, can I see that purse back there? And she's like, sure. And she took a little while to get it. And a lot of elderly folk work there. I love them. And, uh, and she finally got it out, and it is a genuine alligator bag, and it is freaking fabulous. I mean, look at it. Isn't it awesome? I just want to put it right there on my coffee table and stare at it all day. I think it's that fabulous. It is brown. It is not croc. It says inside that it's croc, that it's alligator, and it was priced at 45 but she let me have it for half price because it was half price uh, on everything in the store today. And usually, when they have bags... This can almost be a shoulder bag. Isn't that awesome? Usually on the handbags that they have in the back there, in the counters, they're always telling me uh, they're not half price. That's what happened with the Dooney I got. I'm really sorry, guys. I really don't like to be chugging, but I have a really strange uh, thing going on with my throat right now. Anyway, so she is like, uh, I was like, ooh, $45. She goes, yeah, but half price sounds better, doesn't it? I was like, yes, it does. So she let me have it for half. It is so cute. It's got a perfectly working snap. It's got a little, uh, tiny little coin purse attached with a gold chain. Look how precious. Oh my goodness. It is all in the details. Look how cute that is. And the bag is leather. And the, the little coin bag is also embossed. It says Corre or Coret, however you want to pronounce that. K-O-R-E-T, and it's got, it's like an antler, or, I mean, uh, what do you call it? An antelope with these huge antlers. That's the little logo on there. I hope you can see that. And then, of course, the bag also has the same, the same uh, logo embossed on the inside. The inside feels like genuine leather. I could swear it is. And it's got two little pockets, and it says, made of genuine alligator on the inside and it's got a nice zipper and I have sold these bags as of course a little wear over here on this on the inside but this thing is probably 60 years old probably older than me anyway and the, the little handle is hard isn't that cute gold tone just the prettiest Kelly bag it's like an A design I'm going to put it on Etsy, even though I love it, and I'm going to admire it until I sell it. I did put one on Etsy a couple of years ago that my mom had given me that uh, one of her customers had given her, an elderly woman, and um, she just handed it to my mom. She gave her a whole bunch of bags, and she's always giving her very nice uh, designer goods. And I put it on Etsy, and I made $350 on it. That's what I sold it for. I don't know what I'll sell this one for. I'll probably start it at about $200 on eBay and see if it goes a little higher and then I'll probably put it for three or two fifty on Etsy. So if any of you aficionados out there are interested, please get on my links. Um, I have linked um, both of them on my main, my main page. Uh, if you go to the about section, both my eBay and my Etsy accounts are listed. And if you just go to the main page where the picture, and I know I've said this a thousand times, but some of you guys are just tuning in, so I really appreciate you subbies putting up with, um, with you regular subbies putting up with my rants on, uh, with my raves or rants or whatever, 
about my shops, but that's what I'm in the business for. And uh, that's why I thrift, because it's a habit. It's a hoarding habit. And um, in order for it not to be really a hoarding habit, but more like a collector habit, I have to sell. So anyway, oh, it's got, does it have feet? It has feet as well. It's in really, really good condition. There's some, some wear on the corners, just a tad. But boy, isn't that beautiful? I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. I need to even wear it over the shoulder or right here. Hey, how do you guys like my belt? I'm having trouble with belts lately. I don't know why. This is the one I showed you guys yesterday. I love it with yellow, but it's a little big. I guess I have to wear it on my hips. I'm really having trouble with belts lately. I don't know why. I buy them and they fit at the store and then I get them home and what, what I want to wear with them, either to wear with jeans, they're too small. Or if I want to wear them on my waist, they're too big. So, I don't know what the deal is with that. Okay, let me show you the other cute bag that I could not resist. Well, let me show you the other stuff first. Because then you'll, you'll be like, ah, who wants to see that? Well, let me show you. These were only 50 cents. It's a little a jeweled, embellished uh, candle. It's scented. It smells really good. I think that's vanilla. And all of these little things were 50 cents. Uh, all of these little candle things were 50 cents. So I got a whole bunch of them because you can never have enough scented candles. This one's peach and it's shaped like a little um, pot, like a little planter. Love that. And then I got, oh, this is really cute. This says that it's made, put my glasses on again. You guys are really patient with me. I really appreciate it. Okay, this one was actually originally marked $6, but like I said, they put all their bric-a-brac in one section for 50 cents today. Really, really nice to go today. Um, it says Limoges or Limoges France, or Limoges. Please tell me how to pronounce it. I know it's not Limoges, but you know. Uh, and it says GDA Limoges France, and it's got uh, La, I don't know what it says. It says something in French, and it's got a naked woman. About to take a bath, I believe. Isn't that cute? I just want to put a Voltive in it, or maybe I won't even do that, because lately I've been breaking some of my, my glassware, putting candles on them, inside of them. I've just had that happen, and it was actually a Voltive holder. I don't know what happened. I think the flame got too big. But anyway, I'm going to put something in here. I don't know, maybe Q-tips or something. I think it's really darling. It's really, really cute. Okay, that was that, 50 cents. And then, what else? They had their Christmas things, 75% off too. So I'm going to show you a little Christmas thing in just a second. Another one. This is actually a Yankee candle. I don't know if the inside is a Yankee candle, but this little round candle, sort of a little sphere in there, is, um, is also scented. And it says Yankee candle on the, uh, the container. I have a feeling that just the container is from Yankee candle. But it's really cute. I like it, the little candle holder. All right, then this, she said some lady, one of their volunteers makes these, and she had a whole bunch of them for five, but they were 75% off today, so I got a good deal. And this is uh, the nativity scene on a, uh, I guess it could be an ornament, but I really want to hang it, you know, on my doorknob or somewhere next Christmas. I think it'd be pretty. She had another one with Santa. And then she had another one with a rooster, which I guess could go in the kitchen somewhere. But it's also one of those little boxes that open up. Isn't that precious? And it's got some little glittery stuff in it, too. All right, let me show you the other bag, and then I'm going to bring you another haul. Because I try to make these videos short so you guys don't get bored. And plus, for some reason, I don't know, I've adjusted everything on YouTube, so I don't know why it's rejecting my long videos, even if it's 10 seconds over. It rejects it. So anyway, and I've adjusted where it says you can have long videos. So if you guys know how to help me out with that, I don't know what's going on. And it's happening with my mobile device. That's when I have the problems because I don't upload it to my computer and then upload it. I just do it directly from my mobile device. This is an Adrian Vitadini, or however you say that, Vitadini. I believe it's Italian. This is a leather bag and it is hard. Isn't that the cutest thing? It looks like a little lunchbox. Or something and it's got the prettiest design of just all kinds of flourishes and crosses 
and it, I guess it's like leather work and feathers. It has sort of um, black, of course, rust, brown, uh, sort of a peach as well, and then inside it's red, and it has no closure. It's just, it's just a little drop box. I almost like it just to house uh, jewelry, but uh, I know my daughter's going to fall in love with it. I haven't showed it to her yet. And this was marked uh, $8, but I got it for 4 And then it's got the little leather uh, coin bag as well. So I couldn't resist this. I thought it was really, really cute. Adrian Vitadini, uh, or however you pronounce your name. I know I probably slaughtered it. So anyway, guys, I'm going to come back and bring you another haul that consists of designer stuff. Yeah, I had a good day today, okay? I'll talk to you in a minute. Bye.